our work consisted in studying the enterectal epileptic spikes within the hippocampus during sleep and the effect on sleep spindles within the hippocampus and the memory long-term consolidation over several days. So we studied it in epileptic patients because they are the only patients that could have uh, intracranial recordings and we measured, uh, we measured interictal spikes, uh, sleep, uh, sleep spindles within the hippocampus and uh, seizures after the first night, after the first memory test. Actually, two days after the electrode implantation, uh, patients had uh, memory tests and then they were retested one week later because uh, you can have memory impairment that uh, occur only after a few days or weeks and we think that sleep uh, play a key role uh, in this long-term very long-term memory consolidation and that's why we wanted to study uh, after a few days and what we found uh, is that the more you have interictal spikes during non-REM sleep during the first cycle of non-REM sleep the less the memory uh, performance are correct after one week. So uh, it, uh, it suggests that uh, uh, the interictal spikes interrupt maybe this hippocampal neocortical transfer that is supposed to occur during non-REM sleep thanks to specific oscillations that are slow waves, uh, sleep spindles and um, hippocampal ripples. However, we didn't find any correlation between the spindle frequency, the hippocampal spindle frequency and the memory performance at one week. So maybe there is no direct effect of this hippocampal sleep spindle on memory consolidation, but maybe we uh, need to study more deeply uh, the interaction between the different type of oscillation uh, between the hippocampal ripples and hippocampal spindles or between hippocampal spindles and slow waves. We actually uh, have uh, epileptic patients uh, that are recorded with intracranial recordings at CG have severe epilepsy. So um, you, we have heterogeneous patients and maybe we think that we have hippocampus that are not functional uh, and, but we can see anything on the MRI. We have to uh, have um, uh, more tests to determine if the hippocampus uh, are functional or not and it's not so easy we have to we have to work a lot with a close collabor collaboration with epileptologists because epilepsy is a, a very complex disease with a uh, wide network uh, um, involved so uh, it's um, it's a long way to clearly understand this purpose. In memory consolidation, we have to study more rhythm, so hippocampal ripples, uh, slow waves, the interplay between this uh, rhythm within the hippocampus, but also the interplay between the, this rhythm with other brain regions, uh, frontal or neocortex uh, regions, frontal, parietal, and so we have many work to do with that. And we have also access to thalamus uh, so uh, we think that the interplay between the different brain regions uh, involve thalamus and so we have to look uh, uh, to that too.